back to your favourite teacher. Today we're looking at apostrophes. This is one of those things which seems a lot harder than it is. Once you know the rules, you can nail it every time. So an apostrophe looks like this and it does two things. Shows where something's been left out or shows ownership. Let's look at the contraction shouldn't. It means should not, but I've contracted it into one word. Instead of should not as one word, I've dropped out the O and that's where I pop in my apostrophe. It's the same with cannot and can't and should have and should have. It is and it's. The second time we'd use an apostrophe is to show who owns what. For example, Mo Farah owns a pair of shoes. We'd call them Mo's shoes apostrophe then s. It doesn't matter if he owns one shoe or 300 of them. The apostrophe goes before the s because there's only one Mo Farah. Now let's say in your house there's one Nintendo Switch shared between you and your sister. Lucky. You'd say the kids switch. S then apostrophe. The apostrophe goes after the s because there's two kids. If your basketball team won a trophy, then you can say it in two ways, the team's trophy or the player's trophy. Why is this different? If you can get this right, you're doing better than most adults. The player's trophy, how many players are there? Several, so it's S apostrophe. The team's trophy, how many teams are there? One team, so it's apostrophe S. The last one is tricky, isn't it? It doesn't matter how many people are in the team. If you're referring to one team, then it's apostrophe S. It's the school's website because there's only one school, even if there are many students and staff within the school. Let's see how accurately you can use apostrophes. Try the worksheet now. I'm Miss Meeks. Thanks for watching your favorite teacher and learning about apostrophes.